Another one going final in this one in L.A. Fireworks. 36-34. <laughs> Sign me up twice, but it's Tua outdueling Herbert. Two men that will always be measured against one another. One's clearly taller, but the other comes away with the bigger W. 466 yards for Tagovailoa. Three touchdowns as well, and it helps when you got a cheetah chewing up 215 for you. Wow. Wow again, Brian McFadden. That was a performance on both sides of this matchup. The question will be posed, where's the defense? We'll get there, starting on the offensive side of the ball, yeah. specifically with Tua Tagovailoa and his top target in Tyreek Hill. We saw it last year. We know what it can be if mm -hmm. healthy. This looked like another form of it, a step forward even from what we saw last year. I'll say this right now. Might be, I might be a prisoner of the moment, but I can care less. I stand by <laughs> this, and I will embrace it. If Tua Tonga Vailoa stays healthy for the entire season, he will win the MVP award. Clip and save this. If Tua Tonga Vailoa stays healthy, he will win the MVP award. And the next best competitor in regards to that race is his teammate in Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill will surpass 2,000 yards receiving if his quarterback base. stays healthy. <laughs> Book that as well. This offense is so prolific, and get this. They scored, what, 30-plus points in a huge win on the road against a playoff caliber team without their best offensive lineman mm -hmm. in Tyron Armstead. Mm -hmm. Think about that. And we saw Tua, Tua rattle at times, but he still made big-time plays. And how can you stop this offense when you look at the way that Mike McDaniels utilizes the cheetah in motion and he hits the snap in full speed? With that type of speed, how can you neutralize or slow him down? And if you decide to devote two or three defenders to number two, uh, to, to Ty Tyreek Hill, you got Jalen Waddle, mm. who didn't get a chance to waddle today, but you know if you devote more hands to Tyreek Hill, Another dude Mr. Waddle will waddle. Yeah. So this offense is outstanding. This was a huge win, one of the more entertaining games we've seen so far. But like I said, if Tua Tungvaluwa, remember this, no one was talking about Tua anywhere in regards to the MVP conversation. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it here right now, tonight. If he stays healthy, go ahead and give him the award right now in South Beach somewhere, Prime 112. <laughs> Let him celebrate. Mac will be there, and if I got the invite, I'm there too. You're there it was too. a quiet 78 yards for Jalen Waddle. Quiet. Who, quiet 78 yes. for him. We know this was a two-point game. And there were three points oh. gifted at halftime. Oh. I mean, uh, Miami scores a late touchdown here, Tyreek Hill, and that decides the game. JC, what you doing? But this situational JC. football here has to drive it's, you crazy. It's prevent defense. Seconds There's two left. seconds left on the clock. And Even if he catches the football, mm -hmm. you go into half, make the tackle. Unnecessary pass interference called, which was the right call, led to a field goal, and you look at the final score. What was the final score, Joe? Uh, we had 36 <laughs> 34, and I got a couple of more numbers for you that I want to sneak in for Come you here, on, JC. 92 points for the Chargers their last three games. They are 0-3 in those yeah, games. They like, and they have big money players on the defensive side. Mm -hmm. For some reason, they're just not getting the necessary stops. And they play against the outstanding offense. Don't get me wrong. I believe the Miami Dolphins, when they're clicking like they click today, they can score 30-plus points almost on any opposing defense. So that was a tall task. But you cannot have these costly mistakes that we saw right before halftime. And remember, we were watching the game. I said, remember this play when you look at the final outcome of this ball game, especially if the Chargers don't win. They lost by two points. There's no way in the world they were, eight, they were supposed to get a field goal attempt mm. in that situation. Two seconds left to go. You're on the opposite side of the 50-yard line. Tua threw the ball, not a Hail Mary in the end zone. A catchable pass within the field, unnecessary. You got to understand the situation and allow that situation to determine how you play the ball game. You're, JC did not. You're giving gifts in the NFL. Someone's going to open them. No question. That was a gift in this one. It proves to be the difference.